Okay, welcome to this episode of the Respect the Risk Rock Climbing Mentor Series. Uh, today we're going to learn about the clove hitch. Clove hitch would be one of what I would call the essential knots that you need to know for rock climbing. Um, out of the probably the four or five that are that, that are that are a must. The figure eight for the tie-in, the figure eight on a bite, the overhand for repelling the overhand on a bite, clove hitch, prussic, as well as uh, the water knot. And uh, so we're going to cover off the clove hitch. And uh, so first I'm going to show you here from a point of view standpoint. Uh, first thing is with the clove hitch is you're going to make a, this is the climber's clove hitch where you've got a carabiner. So you're going to make the letter P, if you will, um, with the horizontal part of the P that comes around on the front. And then you're going to make a P facing the other way. Uh, but you're going to bring the vertical part of this P on the front of the rope. So you got essentially the letter P on the right facing this way with the vertical rope on the back. You got a letter P on the left, the vertical rope on the front. And then you're gonna pass these over each other and that's where you clip. That's the clove hitch. So the trick is that if you do this, you notice it becomes a, like a coil spring. So that is incorrect. You don't want the coil spring you don't want to do this and fold it like a book. That's wrong. You want to keep them in the same plane, but just overlap. So it's these two circles stay flat with each other and you just bring it over. And then there's the telltale for the clove hitch. So again, you know, we'll, we'll show you that again. You're starting with a P like in the alphabet with the horizontal rope on the front of the P, the second P faces backwards and the vertical piece is on the front. And you're gonna bring it over, keeping them flat. See that, it's flat. And the back one comes over top. You know, the, the right hand one comes over top of the left one to make the knot. And so if you end up with a coil spring, you know, you can see there, it's like a coil, that's wrong. And you don't want to fold it like a book, that's also wrong. You want to keep them flat where the, the right hand P goes over top of the left hand P and then there's the telltale. Now we're going to show you that and we're going to clip it into a carabiner here in a minute. Showing you one last time, it's the P the horizontal rope on the on the front, the P facing the other way, uh, and the vertical piece on the front. We're bringing it over. We're using the carabiner to flip it through, and then we're tightening it up. And then, okay, if it's a, if it's a belay station, then we're going to lock the gate. That is the climber's clove hitch. Now, so that's the knot, and. One of the beauties of the clove hitch is if you want to adjust the uh, if you want to adjust the knot, you don't actually have to untie it. So all you have to do, if we want slack on this side where my hand is, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some through from over here and pull it through, and then I'm going to I'm going to take it in. So again, I can bring it through. Okay, I need another, oh boy, another couple of feet of slack here. So I'm pulling it through and then I can adjust it. Oh, or if I need to make it tighter on this side, conversely, I can do the same thing. I got to pull, to make it tighter here, I got to pull on this one here. So pull, pull that one through. I'm making this end shorter and then I can pull it through the other way. And then just make sure you, that the form is there. And that is the clove hitch. For the climber's clove hitch, which 
you clip with the carabiner. 